unbelievable. Wow. Wow. No doubt that you have already the personality of a virtuoso. You play with the diminuendo, with the crescendo, with the beautiful soul. A lot of heart. Wow, fantastic. It's unbelievable. It was wonderful. <laughs> When you extend the change <coughs> of the Boeing, it's really extraordinary. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Please keep up. You know, if you keep this type of level for your future, you will make yeah. a huge career. <laughs> yeah, so, right. keep it up. <laughs> keep it up. You have no fear. You just, how you bow like this, <laughs> you're, you're already, you see, wow. Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, you have a big career in front of you. Yeah. It was yeah. wonderful, yeah. how? Oh, oh yeah, wow. oh, it's amazing. Last week, the list of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus finalists was completed. We presented fresh talents who proved that they may be small, but they can make great music. You are our future. The judges were in a difficult situation. However, the show must go on. Tonight, the 10 most virtuosic young musicians will show us that classical music can help defeat any obstacle. You have a Batman suit. <laughs> the talents will explore the boundaries of classical music. That's Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Here, not only world-class performances are born, but also lifelong friendships. Tonight, the two hosts will be great at speaking the language of children as usual. <laughs> we will work on this. The king of German television shows, Thomas Gottschalk. You look like you work in the boys' group. <laughs> and Ida Novakovska, the favorite host of Polish viewers. Tonight, they will both be in the mood for a party. Let the master class begin.
So, you see, she's a real good dancer. My piano playing, I need some help. It's really um, good, Thomas. It's great. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> It's really, really great that you're watching us because you, otherwise you would miss an important part of this thing. We did the semifinals. We have 10 contestants are waiting for the grand finale. And today we're gonna have fun. Today there won't be any winners. There won't be any losers. Today we're gonna show how beautiful music is. And that great jury will not be here to judge, but to help and to have fun with us and to enjoy the music. And I enjoy my partner, Ina. Welcome. I very and much I'm enjoy so you and here. all of you and all the kids. Uh, as Thomas said, it is going to be a wonderful evening. It is only about fun and our fun uh, judges are here. And let's greet our new Serbian jury member who agreed to fill in for Nemanja Radulovic who unfortunately had a fever in the previous show, uh, so he could not come back to join us uh, in this round. So welcome on board, Silvana. <laughs> Silvana, she is the head of the music department of television of Serbia. She is a pianist and a musicologist. You, you took part in the Serbian casting, so you know the Serbian competitors already. Our today's super judge is a young, talented actress who joined us from England, who played at the famous Paris Odeon Theatre as a child, and now everyone can see her both in Hollywood super productions and European feature films, also on the cover of famous fashion magazines. Let's welcome Coco Koenig. Thank you Good for evening. having me. Good evening. No, it's our pleasure. Thank um, you. As you can see, we have a lot of music specialists. We yes. have pianists. We have like uh, opera singers. Absolutely. Um, you love the classical music, of course. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Of course, I love classical music, and I think if you give talented people opportunities, they thrive. Um, so I'm really honored to be here. What instruments do you play? I play the piano, um, but I my my personal love is acting and film and theater so you missed my playing unfortunately I, I saw it from the back it was really good uh, she saw it. She was <laughs> I, saw, I saw it I saw it um, so I'm gonna be here judging performances and I, I'm looking forward to it very much yep. okay so you can take your super judge thank seat you. and thank good you luck so today much. thank you thank you very much thank you, thank you. So let the show begin, and it's always a problem for me to begin the show with saying goodbye to Ida, because I like working with her. I know I look better on her side than on my own. And I cannot wait to be uh, up there backstage because I love to support all of them and take care of them here on stage, please, okay? Absolutely, and especially today, it's more about playing than about winning. Thank you, Ida, go backstage. And after she is left, there's only two men standing. I mean, like uh, Peter and I. You know, we started three guys in the show. Yes. I wonder, one of us should make it to the final. Yes, we will try our best. <laughs> OK. But it's, I mean, you're a lucky guy. Your girls are staying my left. I can't complain. OK, but another one will come on. She's a beautiful, young Hungarian musician. Um, Maxim Bengarov saw her play and he was excited about her and he knows about violin playing. However, now she shows herself from a brand new side. She and her little sister will shock us and their mom with breathtaking acrobatic stunts. My sister and I love doing acrobatics. We try to find some time every day to practice this too. We have also a hammock like this that we can use for doing exercises. We love it very much. I love aerial yoga because it relaxes me and makes me happy. High five in the air. We'll go to the final. Is Amira Abuza. It was a great feeling when the judges said my name. And I'm happy that now I can show this international jury other pieces as well. On stage, Abu Zara Amira from Hungary.
Wonderful. That's how I love violin. Very religious, whatever the word is. You've been the first contestant tonight. We will talk about this. Wir könnten auch in Deutsch sprechen. We could talk in German, which would make it easier for the both of us. But we are in Budapest. We have an international audience. And we'd like to introduce that beautiful orchestra. I do the Gabor Hollerung part. He is a conductor. Welcome, maestro. And you live in Hungary, so you help me spell the name of the orchestra, right? The Dohnani. Dohnani. You, you do it. Dohnani Zenakor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. First question. Our jury today has another job also because today they can be nice. Silvana. Amira, congratulations. Uh, really, I like your tone first of all, and I enjoyed to listen to you and also uh, to watch you playing. Uh, you have wonderful dynamic ranges and just keep on this way. Peter. I really enjoyed everything what you did. I, I think generally sometimes I would like to take more time, especially after the trill, you know, so it's like more uh, thing. And there is also one phrase, just before letter A, if you know the letters, when you go up the dynamic, a little bit more decrescendo, but it's 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 a very small things. You you play with such a joy, you have your closed eyes when when I can see you enjoying it when you play with with such a emotion and it's really wonderful and uh, thank you so much for a great job. Coco, you are a musical person, but uh, we are here more about the the showmanship. What do you think? Yes, I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was beautiful how you and the instrument became one. And I also thought it was great how you were extremely confident, but then that confidence was juxtaposed with, with the soft side, and, and I thought it was very, very beautiful to watch and to, to see you perform. So thank you. Erika? Uh, you have an incredible strong presence on the stage, uh, which immediately captures people. There is something else which is uh, fantastic about you. Every one of your phrases has an underling thought, and I think it's really important. Thank you very much for this wonderful performance. I'm still your biggest fan. Thanks. Thank you, Erika. Thank you, Amira. Auf Wiedersehen. Alles Gute. Ich drücke dir die Daumen fürs Finale. Bitte schön. Hugs, kisses, everything. Zarina Zaradna impressed the jury with her beautiful harp playing in the semi-finals. The nine-year-old Polish little lady, while practicing a lot for today's masterclass, also paid attention to standing on stage today with a perfect look. Let's have a look. My mother told me that we'd go to a beauty salon before the final, where I could get my hair and my nails done. And then we'd go to a cake shop. Zarina Zaradna. When the judges said my name, I felt wonderful, as if I had achieved something great. I was very happy. I'm very happy that my dog Pepec is with me, and I hope that he'll bring me good luck in the Super Finals. I'm now convinced that he brings good luck. On stage, Zarina Zaradna from Poland.
Zarina Zaradna, that was Dobje. Very good. I loved it. So, you happy with yourself? You like your play? Yes, I'm very happy with my performance. Yes, I'm sure everybody agrees. Of course, Alicia, she is your Polish angel. She will love you anyway. Zarina, I still can't understand how you can play so well after just three years of learning this instrument. That's because each note you play with your little fingers is full of elegance and music. You know, as I look at you, I see an elegant young lady. You are full of gracefulness. I'm so proud of you. Good luck for the super final. Thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome, darling. Gabriela? Zarina, it's magical to look at you, really. You warm our hearts and, and you know, you're just such a natural talent. You know, we see such a bright future ahead of you, that's for sure. So keep hearing that angel stuff. Tell me, are you a devil sometimes too? <laughs> yeah? I'm very glad. <laughs> The night was wonderful. I felt like I was in a fairy tale. Everything was colorful and joyful. And I was very happy too. And it means a lot to me that I could perform on the stage. Bravo! You were great. I am so proud. Our little princess. The filming of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus is a true adventure for the kids. Today, we will have a camera rehearsal and we will try on the clothes, and I also practice a lot with the orchestra. Even though there is always time for taking a break, the contestants still have to work a lot if they want to be perfect on stage. They have to keep practicing on their own and with the orchestra for the perfect sound and stage rehearsals for the perfect scene. This is a camera rehearsal where, on the other hand, we check the performance itself. And on the other, the whole crew is working on creating the most beautiful scene possible. So this is when we set the last few color shades for the background. There is a whole team dedicated to working on the appearance of the contestants and the judges. These are the clothes we brought for you. We'll pick the right one together. I feel like a real princess. I wore a tailcoat for the first time in my life. Ora 
There were so many people there. I don't think I could count them on the fingers of both of my hands. Some of them were following us around everywhere, so they always knew where we were and what we were doing. One last hug from the parents before the performance, and then only the contestant can enter the studio through the lock gate. Now uh, we will see Martin Schulz from Czech Republic, who came here alone, actually, which is fine because he's already 18 years old, but it didn't take him long to find a really good friend here in Budapest. Actually, uh, she's also from Czech Republic, Eliška. Let's see how their friendship developed. This is cool, it's awesome, just like home. Oh yeah, it is. I love it. Look around, it has this typical atmosphere of the communist era. The pictures from bedtime stories and everything, this is so cool. That the musician who will go through to the next final round will be Martin Schutz. When they said my name, I would have been like, wow, are you kidding me? I was very happy at that moment. That's right, hug your friend. Thanks to the Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus competition, I was lucky enough to meet Eliška, who became my friend and my comfort, and I'm very happy that she can be here with me. For the next round, I'll try to be more accurate in practicing and I'll try to have some more rest because the first round was really demanding. So I'll try to relax a bit more and that way I hope I will be able to show my best to the judges. On stage, Martin Schulz from Czech Republic. Bravo! Good! 
Martin, hello again. Hello, hello. So is this a special accordion thing or did you hurt yourself? Uh, this, no, 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 this is for uh, better playing because uh, this uh, texture is made from celluloid, like ah. a piano, and uh, if, you, if you don't have these things, it's like a stuff. Ah, yeah, yeah. And it's you better should, for play. I see, you should have a Batman suit. <laughs> that would look good. Anybody of you guys ever touch the uh, instrument like this because for me it's like left does something else than the right hand and uh, it's complicated. Peter, but you you understand everything. Yeah, you have to have the, <laughs> the air and you know also this uh, technique of left hand and technique of right hand. So it's to combine it to make some vibratos and how soft you play, how, how, how uh, loud you play. There are a lot of kind of criteria. But you were you were amazing. It's not easy and the style and transparency. Mm -hmm. Sounded like Tchaikovsky to me. But <laughs> <laughs> very similar, yes. Thank you. Great. Gabriela, talk to the man in check. I will. Martin, thank you for choosing this piece. This was really something different from last time. And of course, your technique is excellent. But you also have this incredible thing about your skills that so many people love about you. You have incredible powers, and this works really well for you on stage. The ladies on the right side. I think uh, we are very spoiled because we have two accordion players in the final. But it's very good because uh, then we can really pick up something about uh, this world, mm -hmm. your world, and you're excellent, really. And uh, your Scarlatti sonata was uh, perfect. What if I have to say something, li really little something? You, you really um, look up and, and uh, we had the, the eye contact with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I think it needs sometimes. Okay in the serious pieces too, that uh, to have this connection, special connection, mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. uh, circulation, to have you really, but anyhow, this is just really something. Is this heavy after a certain time? Yeah, I do you want to try home? it? Do you like want to try it? To... No, I don't want to it's try it. It's 15 kilos, just 15 kilos. 15 kilos, but at the end of a concert, you're like, yeah. okay, <laughs> I wanna, okay. Okay, thank Martin, you very much. take care, bye-bye. Thank, thank you. This was really great. I wasn't so stressed because this wasn't about competing. The judges gave me lots of useful advices about how I should act on stage, how I should take eye contact with the audience, how I should play better. And I think I'll take their advice. That was extraordinary. You know, we had a party for you here. And then we like, cheers. Cheers to Martin. I can see that you uh, created a true friendship. So I think we, we like talking about everything. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. About music mostly or? Oh, maybe most. Maybe mostly, but it's uh, something what connect us, what, uh, why we met each other. Yeah, <laughs> and I am, I am really happy that he's here and he, that he's in the final, and <laughs> I'm have have my fingers crossed for him. <laughs> Thank you. So, yes, me but too. I'm, but I'm really sad that Eliška couldn't come to the final. However, I am here with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. true. We keep telling you again and again that this is about the same language but it's still about a competition. It's both about music, but you know, if it's a competition, especially girls take these things very serious and they know how to win, but this is a friendship between two girls and one of them was eliminated. So we want to show you how those two Slovakian girls spent their time together after it turned out that only Algebeta had made it to the final. The two friends, like sisters, but we still had to decide. Ashbieta Rehakova. We love taking walks to this square and to this beautiful basilica. We even attended a mass here. It was in Hungarian. This was the first Hungarian mass of my life. Although I didn't make it into the final in this competition, I still decided to stay with Betka so I can support her and I can hum melodies into her ear all the time and to tell her to smile and relax and not to stress. I'm very happy that she could stay here with me. To me, she's clearly the winner. Thank you.
Tak myslím si, že táto súťaž... I think that this show isn't so much about competing. It's about how music connects people. Veľmi našla, našla som si tu veľmi do, veľa dobrých priateľov. I found very good friends here. I know that there will be a true legend in the super final. A real idol of mine, Placido Domingo. I try to do everything to show my best. Výkon bol čo najlepší. On stage, Ažbeta Rihákova from Slovakia. Alsbeta, is it for me in German? Deine Lippen, die küssen so heiß? Ano, ano, not at all. Ah, Erika, have you ever done this song? Uh, yes. Have you any tips for her? First of all, Betka. I amazed your performance. Uh, it was really wonderful, really, really. It was a very good choice. Very little advice, more text, more text. Yeah, yeah. Not, not doppel P, triple. Tripod. Lip pen. Lip pen. Alicia, you agree, our other opera diva? I think, Alžbeta, that everything is there. Fantastic voice, legato, and your musicality amazes me. That is very solid for the future. But this piece was sung by the biggest opera singers. So as... Uh, as was said, that text has to be given because it's operetta. Mm -hmm. You have to pay attention on umlaut because it's not kiss English, it's kus. kus. It's German kus. We will work on this. Yeah. So, Peter, tell her in her language or in your common language. Alžbeta, Betka, congratulations to you. You sang this piece beautifully. I think I agree with my colleagues. Text is the most important thing. This is what you'll have to work on a little more. Otherwise, you sang beautifully. Thank you for the comments. I try to improve these things. I think uh, you're ready for the final. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. I accept the feedback and I want to be very conscious about it. I'll be working on this piece. I will work on my energy so that I can be more relaxed while singing it and I can enjoy it even more. Thank you very much. How did you feel up there on stage? 
I am so happy now that it's over. I'm not stressing anymore. And I appreciate all the advice I got from the judges. I try to work on these things because I know how important these things are, exactly what my teacher keeps telling me. In the first semi-final, the Hungarian jury member Mikloja Erika sang for the Serbian contestant Vuk Vukalovic. She sang the song of a famous Hungarian tale figure with the same name as him. So Vuk decided to go after and see himself who the Kish Vuk is. Here we watch him. Your name is the same as a Hungarian fairy tale person animal, Vuk. My name is Vuk, and the cartoon character shares the same name. And this is important for the children. That's what Erika, the Hungarian judge, mentioned. Since I did very well in the semi-final, people will probably expect me to be even better in the final. So I'll take every opportunity to practice. I used to do basketball seriously, and I began playing the guitar only later. But now I'm taking the guitar more seriously. And when I go to play basketball with my friends, I always have some sandpaper or nail file in my backpack. Because if my nails break, I can't play and my sound is gone. So I have to properly maintain them. On stage, Vuk Vukailovic from Serbia. Again, this was beautiful. Your nails. Yeah, I, I, I see they are very carefully. You do this yourself? Uh, I had to do this myself in this competition. I had no other choice. But normally, my teacher usually helps me with it. 
Yeah, so I think Silvana will be proud of you. Vuk, I'm really proud of you and your performance. And compared to the first recording you sent to Virtuosos, I think you have come a long way. You are much more relaxed. The way you play is effortless and precise. Your tone is clear. You are technically excellent. Your music is beautiful and effective. So we are proud of you and your performance. Thank you very much. Erika? I love your style, I, I love your, your dynamics, uh, you have uh, very strong expressions. Do you like metallic? Metal, Metal yes. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> because your hair is very good for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like the style. Like juju style. And... Oh, can you show something? Of course. Of course. Uh, yeah. the stage is yours. All right. <laughs> That's Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Are okay? Yes, they are. Yeah. You knew, you knew there would be some challenge, huh? <laughs> uh, Alicia. You're very self conscious about your image. As you said, the hair is part of your image. But I would love to that sometimes you put up your head and you tease us with your eyes, with your face, just for the moment, but give us this pleasure. All right? Please. Thank you. Not a, of course. <laughs> Thank you. You're an artist. You can say no. You can say. You can watch at me whenever you want. If I'm playing, I'm playing. But it's up to you. I'm, I'm only the guy introducing you. So we will see you again in the finale. Woo! Looking forward to you. Thank you. The judges made comments about my hairstyle. They told me they'd like to see my whole face. And that's fine. I'll do something about it in the super final. I wanted to say that uh, our rock star is here, but it's a metal star now. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I think, you know, I was listening to everything that the judges were saying, but to be honest, I love your hair, though. Because um, it gives like a certain secret to your music. I'm glad that you have such a nice uh, atmosphere here. I can see that you're all really supporting each other. Of course, we don't look at each other as rivals. We make friends, we talk, we share experiences and give advice to each other. This is an extraordinary competition and an extraordinary experience. Regardless of the different countries and nations, here on the stage of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus, we play the same language. This show is all about music, which connects the children. Children can approach music in a naive way. They look at it as something new. And this is also reflected in the way they play. And indeed, we got to know each other better. And as the super final is approaching, now we were able to play together. We sat down in a break and played Hungarian Dance by Johannes Brahms, a piece we all know. And it was truly great to see that we indeed share this common language, the language of music. It was really fun. Many of the young musicians who perform here have never played with an orchestra before and never been in a similar environment with an orchestra. This is something new to them. I can help them with this, and the conductor Holarum Gabor can also help. One, two, three! 
Beside all this, Virtuosos is much more than a talent show. We support these talents even after the show. We follow their appearances and provide them with opportunities to perform. This is the end of the first part of the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus Masterclass. Five of the ten contestants have already been introduced. One contestant from each of the Visegrad countries, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Poland and Hungary, and another contestant from Serbia, are coming up to showcase their exceptional talents. It's no question, they are the future of classical music. And we and the jury are on the way to prepare them for the big super final where they will be able to show their skills in front of Maestro Placido Domingo. Tonight is all about playing joyful music as here we all play the same language. And we'll be back soon, don't worry. That sounded like the soundtrack from Jurassic Park or Star Wars or something like this. You're not just cute, you are a real, already a real musician. I'm a very big fan of you, really. Biggest fan of you. You are a great, great, great musician. You have the best stage present that I've ever seen. It's a truly unique. Take your head. <laughs> Fly. And slide. Slide. Slide.